Okay, so today's video is all about timing. As you can see, I rebuilt all the carbs per spec. And I still have the, the 115 here that I'm working on that ran, even though I didn't rebuild the carbs. It has an idle stabilizer, which I'm gonna take out. So what I'm gonna do is install the carbs first, and then we are gonna get the timing because we have to get these arrows right. And we have to make sure that everything is spinning properly. Okay, and that's the video. Okay, so I got the carbs synced up, <clears throat> as you can see, wide open, wide open, wide open, beautiful. So I'm going to saw these, I have brand new gaskets, uh, as you can see, on those, so we're going to put those on. that I'll put a link in the uh, description for it but this is what I've been using for the last uh, couple years it's very very accurate so okay so before timing it um, I'm noticing an issue here and you see that stops there but the max throttle screw is not going all the way it needs to go there which is a common problem with these engines uh, so what I'm going to have to do is remove the cowling and uh, this right here, this is what's causing the problem. So I need to cut this off all the way up be before I time it. Okay, alright, so you see the, the tube there. So what I'm going to do is push the max forward and you see the tube, you know, the tube is just stuck. So we just have to get this tube off. Okay, so I cut this uh, piece of hard plastic off. As you can see, the wires are now exposed, but when you go to the max saddle side, this is actually hitting. So now I put everything back together, and then we will be ready to time this engine. But yes, one last look. Good. Okay, so I cut this uh, piece of hard plastic off. As you can see, the wires are now exposed, but when you go to the max saddle side, this is actually hitting. So now I put everything back together, and then we will be ready to time this engine. But yes, one last look. Good. All right, so what I did was uh, I just flattened this out. That way it wouldn't hit the flywheel just to get this actually hit um, perfectly. That way we get the max swaddles. And now I'm gonna put everything back together and we are gonna time this engine. Okay, so the timing specs for the 8788 uh, ADI is uh, uh, four to six ATDC and then the max is 20, which I'm gonna set around 18 to 19. So, we're gonna go ahead and, and do this. I'm gonna turn up the lights. I, I'm not sure if the camera will pick up the actual thing, but when you start it, you want those, these arrows to be in line. That's where you wanna start it. And then, and then when, you, when you set the, uh, the max throttle right here, you wanna make sure the butterflies are completely open, which I did verify with a flashlight but right now i have a, a bungee cord holding holding the, the auto stop back okay okay so we are uh getting ready to time the idle spec Try it again. Yep, 
Okay, all right. So, so we're looking for uh, four to six uh, ATDC. That's right now we're at about eight. So I'm going to increase the idle just a little bit. Cut the camera. Recording. Okay. All right. So now we just have the max timing. Um, I, 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 I would like to get it down to, to four to six degrees ATGC, but um, this engine is not being very cooperative. So we're going to set the max timing 18 to 19 degrees. The spec is 20, but we're going to target 18 to 19 degrees. So, so uh, we are way too high, so we have to re reduce the uh, uh, max timing, which you do by adjusting this screw right here, which I'm, which you can't see, but this needs to come back j j just a little bit. All right, so I, I adjusted the uh, max timing screw. Let's see where we're at. Right on the line. I don't know if you caught that right there. You gonna try it again? Oh, we're at about 19 degrees. Okay. All right. So the engine is properly timed. So uh, the only thing left now to do is to make it talk, <laughs> which is my favorite thing. So.
this engine is pretty much a monster, but the uh, fuel pump right here is not supplying enough fuel to the engine. I had to keep priming the bulb ju just to keep it running. But um, yes, th this is a Primo engine. It is ready to talk. Yeah, that's for sure. So all I have to do is, is rebuild the uh, the fuel pump, make sure it's getting enough fuel, and then we are good to go. Hey, I appreciate you guys for watching. This is uh, you know the video on time and timing and ADI ignition. So, but hey, uh, happy building, peace.